In this video, we are going to learn how to run frequency response analysis in SimSolid and extract equivalent radiated power or ERP. For the purpose of demonstration, we will be using a CubeSat model, which has already been set up and run for model analysis. To run model analysis, the structure has been constrained at four different locations, highlighted here in red and we've extracted nine elastic modes. Let's go ahead and review the results first. You can plot the displacement magnitude. The first frequency is close to 1200 Hertz. You can also cycle between various frequencies to look at different mode shapes of the structure. Now, since we have model analysis run, we're going to use this to set up frequency response analysis. And to do so, you can go to your analysis toolbar, pick frequency response. And as you can see, the frequency response is already being linked to the modal subcase that we just reviewed. Frequency span is going to be from 1000 Hertz to 1500 Hertz. We're also going to be using a modal damping of 3%. The next step would be to create a frequency function. And to do that, we're going to use a standard frequency function, a harmonic type with an amplitude of 1 and a period of 1100 hertz. And finally, for the loading, we're going to do a base excitation of type acceleration with an amplitude of 1 meter per second square in the z direction. Now that the frequency response analysis is set up, let's go ahead and run this analysis. Once you have the results available, you can query various result types such as displacements, velocities, accelerations, etc. Let's go ahead and plot some displacement magnitude. You can choose to animate it over a range of frequencies, or you can go to a peak and look at the deform shape at a particular frequency as well. Similarly, you can also look at e equivalent radiated power density or ERP density over a range of frequencies. SimSolid also supports querying ERP over an entire phase and to do so, Use pick info, change the response from displacement magnitude to ERP or equivalent radiated power, and pick a phase of interest. SimSolid is now querying an integral of the ERP over an entire phase and plots a curve that gives you the value of ERP on the picked phase over the range of frequencies. In this case, the maximum ERP is 4 e power minus 4 milliwatts. You can also pick a different phase and query the ERP on the bottom phase as well. And as you can see, the bottom phase, we have a max ERP close to 1300 hertz equal to 0 0.0018 milliwatts. SimSolid also gives you the ability to calculate the total ERP over multiple phases. And to do so, just pick both the phases in the pick info dialog to get the total ERP over both the phases. Thank you.